She, 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 she. Okay, let me get my phone on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We got a tweet. Oh wait, I think I can click continue and it will be fine. Let's be where we left off, I think. I hope. We better be. Oh, I forgot to take a screenshot of that very rude card that CJ gave us. Here we go. Oh yeah, let me get I I get pictures. I've got pictures for you guys. Um we'll throw them in here. Why don't you listen to me when I tell you to go somewhere? Hmm? Photos? Rude? Thank you. God. A little bit more. There we go. Yay. Okay. <sighs> I will give people a second to show up. Let's see if I can remember how to do this. Complex formulas filled the large chalkboard. Clearly the work of a genius. Okay, she's secretly smart. We get it. What is all this anyway? Oh, that? I'm working on a proof to help me pick the perfect prom dress. I... sure? <laughs> Rowan, what happened? Why were you hospitalized? Are you okay? <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. I know, I know. I'm not sure it can be done either, but I've got to try. It's the biggest decision a girl has to make. Gross. I'm so sorry to hear. Please. Oh, be careful. Claude is very fragile. Fragile? It's enormous. I haven't finished calibrating him yet. If you want to help, get him to pick some things up and put them down again. He needs the practice. Just don't pick up anything too heavy. What are we going to pick up? Oh! What else- what else can we pick up? 
We got a box. We've got a chair. That seems far too heavy. Hey, how's it going, Cheer Luffy? We'll try the, the bear. Let's put the bear on the chair. Yeah! He doesn't want to put it on the chair. That's fine. It's okay, Claude. I think it's cute to name all your inventions. I would do that. Claude, you're doing great. Box. Can I put the box on the chair? No. Fine. If you're gonna be like that. This seems like it might be too heavy, but I mean, how will we know what it does if we don't? Hmm, must have been too heavy. Please be gentle with Claude. He's only a prototype, and I'm out of replacement parts. Oops. mind a plan was forming i know exactly how to get out of here <laughs> claude will be fine um, how can i escape from glatt's manor uh he blows a fuse when i lie to her silent explosives window uh this This, and this, I think. That's my deduction. When I overload the robot arm, it sparks and fuses. And when I lie to Judy Cage, she nearly overloads the power supply. So if I could overload them at the same time, mm. then I might be able to short the power and open the window in the attic. But Jenny couldn't operate both machines by herself. It's true. Oh yeah, so... As mentioned in my previous stream, I have this messed up beverage. I have a picture of it, actually. Not my picture. So... Don't get confused. Let's see. It is right... Here. No, that's not it. That's not it at all. No! This one. This. It is called Kiss Choco Mint. I thought it was going to be melon at first because it's green. And I do like a green drink. But it's chocolate and mint flavored. So we're going to try that live. I'm sure it'll be fantastic. I don't know. How chocolate soda. It is the heck of a label. Oh, thank you for not bubbling over. Let's see. It definitely smells like Choco Mint. Um. Um. <laughs> like, I can taste that it wants to be something, and then I can taste the mint at the end. But I'm not really getting chocolate. If that makes sense. It... Hmm. You tried. <laughs> I don't think that... yeah. Strange. I don't... well, whatever. It's Japan. They love their wacky flavored things. Oh wait, that's right. I gotta talk to my new friend, who's not actually my friend, who I'm very rude to. Susie? Yes? I need your... Asking Susie for help is worse than having a tooth pulled out. I need you to do something. Of course. 
what can I do to help? I didn't say I needed your help. Oh, Jenny. Sorry. I don't owe you anything. Jenny. Okay, okay. What do you want me to do? Go stand by Judy, Kate. Uh, all right. But why? No time for questions. Just wait for my instructions. I mean, you're gonna break her machine. I think you should explain it to her first so she can prepare for fixing it. Jenny? Susie, are you ready? Welcome back, Susie Glatz. I am ready to detect. Please speak a truth or a lie. Okay, I'm ready. What should I do now? Just hold on until I give the signal. The robot arm strained under the weight of the giant metal object. Okay, Susie. Tell a lie. And make it a big one. Oh, okay. A big lie. Ooh, I've got just the thing. I'm wearing black socks. That was a lie. No, Susie. A big lie. A big lie. Something terrible. I'm just no good at lying. Tell Judy Kate you killed Dean Strausberry. What? That's horrible. I can't say that. Sure you can. Do you want to help or not? Yes, but... Then hurry up and say it. What if she gets okay, implicated? Okay. I killed the Dean? Louder! I killed the Dean. Bigger! I killed Dean Strasberry. Say it like you mean it! I murdered Dean Strasberry. I bashed his brains in! Now I danced on his grave! Uh, are you okay, Susie? She doesn't look wow. okay. That was messed up. Oh my gosh, I'm a horrible person. No, you just... As Susie Glatz contemplated every bad thing she'd ever done in her life, Jenny heard the unmistakable sound of success. Jenny's a horrible influence success. on Susie. Let's run. Can I? I forget what the button is for running. Maybe I can in the house. That would make sense. It would make too much noise. And I would be a bad guest. I also have other weird... Treats here. Jenny! You can't leave now. It's past curfew. Watch me. Well, you can't go out wearing pajamas. I'm not playing dress up with you while my mom is trapped in jail for a crime she didn't commit. The real killer is still out there. And what if you find him? What then? Good. Just paused. She hadn't thought that far ahead. Are you scared? Mm, no, because I'm a little jerk. Of course not. Jenny would never admit it, even to herself. <laughs> but she won't. You know who should be scared? The murderer. Because I'm yeah. coming for him. Mm-hmm. Well, let me help you. We can work out a plan together. Sorry, Susie, but I work alone. Ma'am, you are a child. At least take this with you then. So we can stay in touch. Susie Talkie? That's cute. I want to make Fine, my own walkie-talkies. I mean, I won't, but it's a cute idea. Let's see. But don't call me. I'll call you. Okay. Jeez. Good luck. And be careful. There's still a killer out there. I'll be fine. Will you? Jenny, you won't tell anyone about my lab, right? Yeah, it's the clue time. Only if you cover for me. Of course. I'm always here for you. We're going to be best friends, Jenny Lequeur. Susie is too nice for it. Jenny. Sure. Right after I sign up for cheerleading. You don't have to be a cheerleader to be friends. Come on. To catch a real killer, Jenny needed her detective gear. But that was at home, across town and swarming with police. It wasn't wise to travel through town after curfew. To avoid being caught, she'd have to find another way home. Excellent, thought Jenny. Time to exercise my sneaking muscles. Oh man. 
sneaking mission. I don't think I want to go off the edge. Hello, bird. There sure are. Jenny, you sure are far up. Doesn't that spook you just the slightest bit? Jenny paused at the edge of the roof, her teeth chattering in the chill wind. Below her, Lake Nowhere glowed eerily in the darkness. That's a cool rock. From this vantage point, she could see all the way to the lighthouse at the center of the lake. Only the wealthiest families in Arthurton could afford such spectacular views. If I cross the lake, it's just a short stroll through the Forgotten Forest to my house. But Forgotten navigating forest. the lake at night was not an easy task. Many accomplished sailors had met their doom on the ragged rocks of Bear Claw Bend. Well, I've already worked out a way across. Time to get off this roof before someone spots me. Damn uh -oh. it! Think fast, Jenny. Lay down. And just like that, Jenny was gone. Her first great adventure cut what? short before it had begun. Uh, I'm right here. Just hanging around. Very smart. Very smart. Are we gonna jump into the tree? Maybe not. I guess I don't want her to fall multiple stories. I guess. I guess I can understand that. But isn't this also a window, Jenny? Can't you also be seen here? Maybe, maybe less. Definitely less. I mean, I feel like it's just the best way to do it, you know? just escaping from ah, we are escaping from this house grab oh yay yeah all we've done is uh, open the window in the attic and we are outside of the house and trying to get back to our house which is on the other side of town It's true, yeah. Jenny was very that's rude. I think that's her cousin, change. actually. So I can't maybe not girlfriend. <laughs> the safest way home is across the lake. Oh, so they want me to go backwards. Okay. Fine. I think they want me to go backwards. Do they no, yeah. Okay. I will go this way. Uh so one of the other snacks that came in the box that has the weird chocolate minty soda uh, is a new kind of Kit Kat, because of course it's Japan, we're gonna make new kinds of Kit Kats. This one is whole grain biscuit, and it's the best Kit Kat I've ever had. Like I've had a lot of the weird Japanese flavors of Kit Kat, but this is the best one. It, it tastes like graham crackers. It's really good. And it has like graham cracker biscuit chunks in it. Very, I'm very pro this Kit Kat. Uh, I guess it could be, oh. Ooh! Oh wait, can I change? Ooh! One, well, this one. Rotate. Let me 
let me move this one off so that I can focus. Ooh, look at this very treacherous bridge. <laughs> Let's see, examine. Flip. Oh, hi mom. Summer camp is going great. We took a field trip to the observatory last night. I've never seen so many stars. Ricky knew all the constellations. He's so smart and super cute. And he held my hand. Don't worry, he's only two years older than me. Please don't tell dad. I miss you all so much. Love, Stella. That's cute. Oh, it's got a little... Connected? No, that's not connected dots. Never mind. Th those numbers are for stars. How darling! So why was this person's postcard everywhere? Uh, let's see. J. Yay! Oh, that reminds me. I wanted to. Um. Put a sticker. If I put this on my journal, then nobody will think that I, I murdered him because we're friends. So it's not possible, right? Yeah. That's absolutely how this works. Perfect. All right. Not anything over here, is there? Absolutely not a trophy of- well, if it was a trophy of my murder, then that would mean that the What's girl that who sound? produced all of them, uh, had something to do with it. Hello? Hello? Stickers is a really good mechanic. I'm very happy with it. True believer, I am the one you seek. I swim in the shadows of giants that stir beneath an eerie silence. Follow the path, reach the truth. What a curious and cryptic message. Was it meant for her? And who had written it? Friend or foe? Yeah. Man, remember back when newspapers had like day, morning, and evening editions? You could buy two newspapers in a day and would have different news? Bonkers. This could be from the killer. But it was far too dangerous to find out. I have to find out. And so she decided to ignore the message and carry on to her house. There's no way I'm ignoring the case of the mysterious message. Yeah. We gotta find this. That could have been bad. We're borrowing this boat. The SS Susie. Aww. A gift from Susie's father as a thank you for preparing his lunch one day. Jeez. This will get me across the lake in no time. Unfortunately, the boat didn't belong to her. I'll just borrow it for a couple of hours. They won't even notice it's gone. But borrowing something without asking first was just stealing. It's always easier to ask for forgiveness than wait for permission. Of course, the boat needed a key. Jeez, nobody Oops. trusts anyone these days. What do you mean? What do you mean? <laughs> I think uh, there must be some other way to start the engine. Are we gonna hotwire this boat? Oh no, we're gonna lockpick it. Obviously. Well, how do I initiate the lockpicking? Back to the CEO. Why won't you let me? Oh wait. Warning. Risk of electric shock. Third degree burns, smoldering flesh, or death. Warranty void if removed. Oh, sticker. Yay. I think I know exactly what it wants me to do. 
come on, let me let me do it. Wasn't something? I bet I can hotwire the boat if I get this panel off. Yeah. Risk of electric shock. It was far too dangerous. Look, I love danger. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna do a danger. That's just how it is. We are going to commit a crime. We are going to borrow this boat. And we're going to live dangerously. Oh, come on. Damn, this one's stuck. Foiled at the last moment by a rusty screw. Uh -uh. Oh, well, time to turn back. There's only one screw left. I can just pry the panel back. Yeah. And so she very carefully pulled on the panel. <laughs> Fantastic. You did great, Jenny. Wow. Looks complicated. Far too complicated for a child to even attempt. Mom always says a great detective focuses on the solution, not the problem. It looks like I can bypass the ignition by turning the dials until all the lights are illuminated. Piece of cake. Okay. Mm -hmm. I did yeah. It. Let's get out of here. Jenny had found a way to cross the Jenny, lake. Jenny, do you have a license? But she was still a long way. She pulled out her journal and plotted a course. First, I'll navigate my way around Skull Island. Next, I'll sail up the river to the Almasdan Bridge. Then it's just a short stroll through the Forgotten Forest. And finally, home. All right. Got it. I can Let's do go. that, I think. I'm a child. It's safe. It's normal. Jenny had never crossed the lake after dark. Come to think of it, she'd never even driven a boat before. Yeah, it'll be fine. It'll, she's great at it. She thrust the throttle forward and felt a cool wind whip through her hair. Sneaking around after curfew had its benefits. What are the benefits? Ooh. Okay, I assume that that is Skull Island. Oh. This is far more difficult looking than I thought. I drifted. Well, wait, what's on that weird... Yeah, yeah, yeah. The beach. Okay, do I have to go there? I think so. But how do I get there? I assume this way. Oh, this is so precarious. <gasps> Big fish! Grave wow! Shallow Grave Waterway, Danger Low Visibility, Bagel Bay, Bear Claw Bend, Skull Island Lighthouse and Sa Sandwich Shop. That sounds great. Okay. Now 
try to go over here, I think. It's, if there's a sticker over here, and that is the whole reason why I'm making this treacherous quest, it is. At least it's a cute sticker, that's fine. So I want to go up. Kind of want to go see if there's stickers in Bagel Bay. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Oh hey, I assume that this is Skull Island. Cute! Look at how nice it is! Oh my gosh, that's fun. Where's the sandwich shop? Is it in the lighthouse? Skull Island, home to an abandoned lighthouse, and an excellent sandwich shop. I need to eat there. I want to go to a lighthouse sandwich shop. That sounds so good. Decommissioned over a hundred years ago, but the light mysteriously continued to illuminate the darkness. Mysteriously. Mysteriously. What? I'm trying to read it! Alright. But do I go down to Bagel Bay? That's the real question. And should I eat more of these weird treats? The answer is yes and no. Whoa! That can't be good for the boat. Hey. There's got to be a sticker down here. And I'm gonna feel silly if I don't at least look. Okay. Whoop! Stop. Halt. Oh, it's right here. Thank god. I don't have to go any further. What's the scrap? Ooh! It looks like Alien King Cut? Okay. Excited to see what that turns into. Alright, let's get out of here. Maybe I need to consult the map again. Oh. There's a lot of things in here. Oh, another sticker! Yay! I like this one. Come here, little map. Where am I going? I'm there. Do I want to go around? Down. Round and down. But isn't that where I tried to go? Here. Right? Oh wait, 
maybe hmm. there has to be a way in there maybe it's just around I have to go real no That's not gonna work. Okay, so I'm here. This is blocked off, but I need to get down here. Is there another way through down here? Maybe if I go around round rock? I should be able to take this map. Let me- <laughs> give me a mini map, please. Oops. I wish I could just cross. Let me in. Mm, there's no one down here. Oop. Look, it's fine. It's fine. It's okay. It doesn't want me to go there. Game, you're not giving me a lot of options on where to go here. In fact, I don't think you're giving me any options on where to go. It's fine. The buoy will be fine. You want me to get off here? Can I get off here? Oh wait. What is here? It's just another sticker. That's not gonna help me get through here. Unfortunately. Maybe if I go into the danger little visibility area. Oh, no, that's also definitely blocked off. Sure is fun to hit stuff. I agree. Maybe... It's fine. It's fine. It's not my boat anyways. And they have the money. They can fix it. It's gonna be another sticker. Oh, it's a scrap, that's fine. I'll take a scrap. And now I would like to leave? Go where I'm supposed to go, maybe? Let 
Let me through. See them try to put me in a shallow grave. You can't be in a shallow grave when you're six feet under. You can't be in a shallow grave when you're under the sea. Come on. In a lake? That's not shallow. If your lake's big enough to need a lighthouse, it's absolutely not shallow. Bodies do float, I guess. But then that wouldn't really be shallow, would it? Because he'd be right there. Okay. Go down. Here's our little map friend again. Those are the jaggy rocks that I'm supposed to go around for Bear Claw Bend. Like, I know I'm not reading the map incorrectly. I don't know. What if it just wants me to... completely just run into this thing? Full blast. Richard's only lake. Richard's best lake. Hmm? Why are those trees? Oh, have a good one, Snoobal. Thank you for stopping by. Just let me out. They're not gonna let me out. Jenny. We're all fine. It's a-okay. What are you trying to show me, game? Was there, like, a cannon that I missed? I don't think there was, but... Them in the shadows of giants disturb when you... Yeah, whatever. Taking the lake requires the safest route. I'm taking the safest route. I don't want to have to Google this. This is a children's game. Once again. 
what's over there? Like, what if they're just keeping me here until I get all the stickers? Like, I get it, but please let me go. Maybe the fish will show me the way. Maybe they'll clear it out for me. Fish. Hello, fishy. stupid. Never mind. I am, I am but a fool. Whoa, that was huge. I have to get a closer look. Are you gonna jump in? Jenny? <laughs> oh. Whoa. Red herring, a rare and fantastic sight. Can't believe they really exist. Jenny had always believed they were a fisherman's tale, <laughs> seeing them firsthand. She's so beautiful. But what was stuck in her scales? A note for me. A message in a bottle. Curious. I am the voice of reason. I walk amongst the sunken ships that once sailed through the glowing mist. It's another clue. Oh, okay. This case just got more dangerous. He <laughs> had no idea who was behind these messages. This could be an elaborate trap. Or it could be the answer I need to prove my mom's innocence. It's the true. best course of action was to go back and get help from an adult. <laughs> no, I have to see where this leads. On my own. Well, I mean, you could, you could, you could recruit other children, I suppose. Sunken ships, glowing mist. That should be easy to spot. Thanks, fishies. Thank you, fishies. You got any more stickers over here? You got a sticker? A literal red herring, much like red herring from a pup named Scooby Doo. The the trend in the 80s slash early 90s of making kid versions of old shows was strange, but I liked most of them, I think. I liked a pup named Scooby-Doo. Muppet Babies. <laughs> God, he absolutely would. Like, Jenny's never gonna play by the rules, that's just how it works. Now we go back up. I think. Sunken ships. That's probably the low visibility area, but we'll check around shallow grave waterway too. Hello, rocks. Oopsie. It's okay. It's fine. 
Hello? Why does the camera keep doing this? Oh. I can't oh. see a thing. I must be heading in the right direction. Uh. Ooh. That's no good. How am I supposed to get out of here? I mean, I guess I, I probably can. It's probably fine. Oh, hey, a big boat. Are you the big boat? Oh, up here. Yeah, I think when the author and the character fight in stories, it's very fun. It's very reminiscent of that one Looney Tunes skit where... Jenny navigated carefully through the thick fog. Oh, it smells like rotten fish! Many ships had lost their bearings here, grounded on the ragged rocks, swallowed by the lake. Maybe I could shed some light on these ghost ships. There's a plane. That's scary. How does a plane get the rocks? This feels like Alan Wake. <laughs> Just a little bit. Whoa, back there! Big ghost ship. Alan Wake for kids, yeah. Oh, right there. Yes! What we got this message. time? This is starting to feel like a wild goose chase. What if this is all CJ and he's just trying to talk to us about aliens? I am the hope in darkness. I sit in a spiral of ancient stone. Against the clock, I move alone. What's with ah. all these cryptic messages? And where are they leading? I should get out of here before I turn into a ghost. Good plan. Oh yeah, so one of the other treats that I got in this box is... Pringles? And their... London... Fish and chip flavor? And I haven't tried them yet. Maybe... Now is the time. By the way, that if you missed it, that chocolate mint soda was not good. It's not good at all. Hmm. It's like... For the most part, it tastes like a Pringle, but there's just like a hint of fishy flavor and a little bit of, I don't know how to describe it, like greasy, you know, deep fried breading flavor. But no vinegar, which is surprising because it's fish and chips. Alive. Let's go find this spiral of ancient stone. I know where it is, but I will look at the map anyway. Up there. I feel like funny flavored Pringles are even more of a gamble than funny flavored Kit Kats. I saw one today while I was trying to find a picture of these Pringles uh, that was Prosecco and Peppercorn and I was like, sorry. Booze and Pepper? As a chip? No, no, no. No, no, no. I'm good. Thank you. Uh, no. Oh, but there was that horrible Kit Kat flavor that I still, I mean, ate all of them because they were in my house. Uh, that was wine, sparkling wine flavored. Yeah, I don't. I can't explain it, but it was there. Oh, and I saw that Japan has like uh, a tr you know a travel series of Pringles, and I guess the London is part of that line. But another one, the one from America, 
is Texas ribs. <laughs> they should put out a poutine flavored one, because that's all anybody can remember when it comes to Canada, but you know. I think the ribs one might be okay. I tried their like uh, instant ramen flavored ones, because I think they came in last month's box. I do not recommend. It was it was just over flavored. I love limited edition flavors. They're the best kinds of flavors, even if they're not good. <laughs> Some things just taste better when you know you can never have them again. You know? Ooh, a pulled pork chip sounds fantastic. I would absolutely eat that. Pulled pork is... <sighs> the night grew dark and eerie. Pulled pork. <laughs> Why do I feel like I'm being watched? <laughs> well, aren't you ominous? No, it's just a crow. It's fine. Let's be cautious, because we don't want to be rude to him. What are you doing all the way out here? Same. How rude. <laughs> Bro, I missed him. Darn it. He's a crow. Where you go? He took a rock. Put that rock back. Watch it, buddy. Talk about a murder of crows. It threw a rock at me. Yeah. Uh. That was not a rock. It was a crab. Okay. If it's just a crab, that's fine. If it was some kind of weird rock creature. Oh, they're all crabs. Little crab. More crab. Wow, there's a lot of them. Why are they scared of the light? over there. Come back. Yes, yes. Give me it. Give me it. Give me it. Yes. Oh, that's true. Yeah, yeah. You gotta crack. I am the answer to the unasked question. I stand inside the crescent moon. Below death's gaze, I wait for you. I wait for you. This could be the last clue. So caught up in unraveling the mystery, Jenny failed to recognize how dangerous this chase really was. Who is waiting at the Crescent Moon? Yeah, we gotta find out. Whoever it was, our intrepid detective would need to be extremely careful. Crescent Moon. I don't think that's Bagel Bay. Crescent Moon, below Death's gaze. Time to wrap up this case. We're gonna find this crescent moon. We're gonna figure this out. Together. Okay. We made it out of there. Now we'll go look at that map again. Crescent Moon. Oh wait, no, it must be Bagel Bay because it said underneath. 
Okay. We'll go there. Fine. You better have a sticker for me there, though. Fine. Again, they're rich enough to be able to replace it. How do you end up with a formation like this inside? Because it does look like a bagel. Hmm. Are we about to get a big cutscene? Actually, have there been any big cutscenes? Not really. We were even able to play through like the intro, so. Hmm. Why'd you turn your light off, kid? Buddy, you gotta have that on. If you just talk to me. Is this a plan? Okay. If you won't cooperate, I'll... Tree. I'll have to come over there. Here we go. Okay. It was just my imagination. Thank God. The dog's my blood is before the dog! Ah! Get away from me, you maniacal murderer! The dogs bark loudest before the dawn. CJ? The dogs bark oh loudest God, CJ. before the dawn. The early bird can't catch the lazy worm. The wind blows strongly from the east. What did I answer last time? Glass houses. People in glass houses should invest in curtains. The evening sky is full of fireflies. Goldfish. The absent-minded goldfish swims into the blender. Excellent. Oh my god. <laughs> They haven't broken you yet. The notes were from you? I thought you were the Dean's killer. Why did you make me go through all that if you were already in the boat? This is the only place safe from their prying ears. We have to hurry. This line isn't secure. What line? line? We're talking in person. Exactly. Now quickly, before they get a fix on our location. Does he have a black eye? Did, did he get beat up? What did you want to tell me? Seriously? CJ. You can't keep doing this. You contacted me. Did I? Actually, I'm glad you did. I need to ask you a few questions about the Dean's death. Good, Jenny. Question everything. Trust no one. Uh, 
PJ, how'd you get your black eye? Suspiciously large bruise. What happened to your eye? Did you get in a fight? Wasn't a fight. More of a misunderstanding, really. Mm. A seriously purple misunderstanding. Well, you should see the other guy. Hmm. There's something you're not telling me. Is there? He just doesn't know. <laughs> the police sticker. Yes! Oh my gosh. Yes, 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 yes. I love this. Mine now. How's your little buddy doing? It's mostly going in one direction now. What happened to your compass? Before it was wandering, but now it seems to be pointing in one direction. Exactly. Do you see now? It's not a compass at all. So what is it then? Aliens! No, it's... Aliens? What are you talking about? E.T. Extraterrestrials. Beings from another world. I know what aliens are. Come on, CJ. There's no such thing. What? No. Not you too. Oh. I'm sorry, CJ, but it's time to get serious. The Dean is dead and my mom's in jail, framed for a murder she didn't commit. I need to get to the truth. The only way to truly see is to open your mind. Not everything is what it seems. If there really are aliens in Arthurton, how come you're the only person who's ever seen them? People don't see what they aren't looking for. That's why I come here every night, to observe the unobservable. The compass is my eyes. It can sense their presence where I cannot. Why don't you borrow it and find out for yourself? Yeah, I want to find aliens. Okay, I'll take it. I need all the help I can get. Good. You can prove my theory to be fact. Let's not I'd get better see some aliens in this game. Thank you. Just remember, when the needle is steady, the phenomena are near. Sure. They were here before. They will return. And we'll be waiting for them. Uh-huh. Yep. Totally. Mm-hmm. Let's see. I like your water wingies. Looks great, bud. Uh, give me that sticker. Thank you. Uh, tell me about all of your... Okay, well if that's not it, then... Oh. What is this? PJ, what is this? Oh, Gumball Library card. I know you're in the library the day Dean Strasbury died. Did you notice anything unusual? Yes, I did! Great! Mm. What happened? They changed the bathroom set from strawberry to pie! It was most unpleasant. <sighs> Is that all? I intended to alert the librarian as a matter of urgency. But no one was at the front desk. Quite unusual. Mm. Was there anyone else in the library? No, uh, just the dean and I. Till I, uh, I, uh... Until you left. It's not like you to leave your research lying around. Why were you in such a hurry? I, uh, I lost track of time. I was late. For an appointment! CJ. An appointment? Where? Appointment? What are you talking about? You said you were late for an appointment. Objection! CJ. Meeting the witness! This isn't a trial, CJ. It's just me, Jenny. Then I have nothing further to say, Your Honor. CJ, this is serious. You have to tell me the truth. I had to do it, Jenny. I needed to learn. CJ, is this a confession? Well, we're going to find out anyway. CJ, did you murder Dean Strasbury? The Dean? Oh, no. But you just said... Good, Jenny. Suspect everyone, even me. Oh, my God. I don't understand. In fact, I suspected myself for quite some time. CJ? <laughs> but I couldn't have done it. I want to believe you, CJ, but... Do why you couldn't have you have done it? That's why I left these notes for you. If anyone can prove I'm innocent, it's you, Jenny LeClue. Hang on a second. Let me take a look at that. Jenny, I need your help. You know, we could have saved a lot of time if you'd just given me this message first. The risk being followed? Never! But what had piqued Jenny's interest was not the message itself. That paper. What did he write all these messages on? Ooh. Oh, wait, no, this is... One of the corners? Ah.
correct? Get in there. You little... What did you write this on, CJ? I knew it! You wrote all these messages in a piece of newspaper. Local idiot- oh my god. I gotta zoom in. <laughs> Local idiot ruins school play. Let's see. Jenny couldn't help it. Every time she thought about coffee, she saw Keith's face. She heard his voice. She remembered his sadness. And she promised not to rest until she'd uncovered the truth of his father's death. Let's see, cover story. As the only witness and prime suspect, Mrs. Aclue is being held without bail at the Arthurton City Jail. Mrs. Aclue has not given any comment and has refused legal counsel when offered. Due to the nature of the case, Sheriff Winston Laclue has distanced himself from all proceedings in order to maintain a perimeter to limit the conflict of interest and uphold the law and justice to the full extent possible. The front page was missing, but even this small snippet worried Jenny. They've been peddling lies about my mom right from the start. Sheriff Winston the Clue has distanced himself from all proceedings. Well, if he won't help her, I will. Let's see. Parents feared for children's safety and grades. An Avocado Heights school play and parade about the founders of Arthurton was ruined by one town idiot's ramblings. The man identified himself simply as CJ. Witnesses to the terribly misguided man's rant claimed that after he ran onto the stage, he began yelling at small innocent at a small innocent child dressed as an acorn, later identified as Sheldon, grade three. Witnesses recalled the crazed man barking, They are lying to you. They don't know what they're talking about. The truth is up there, at a frightened child. Principal Bagley, who had been watching from the sidelines, rested rested? rest of the main off the stage and away from the now crying children. The man then ran through the streets shouting, they're trying to shut me up! They're trying to shut me up! One parent replied, maybe it's time someone did. Police arrived soon after and although it was a bit of a struggle to catch and arrest the man, police eventually managed to book him on charges of disturbing the peace. Another parent claimed it was the best job I've ever seen at the school, although the bit about the aliens was a bit far-fetched. Let's see. Avocado Heights earlier today, a scene of tears and terror. This photo was taken in Avocado Heights. That's on the other side of town, miles from the library. Oh yeah, there's a the time. 3.55, clearly the afternoon. There's CJ. <laughs> CJ was always protesting something. The first time they had met, CJ had handcuffed himself to a bike rack outside Agatha Krusty's bakery. He was convinced they were hiding something in the pies. He'd lost the key to his handcuffs, so I picked the lock for him. They had been friends ever since. Cute. Local idiot. Thursday. That's the day of the Dean's murder. CJ couldn't have killed the Dean. All the evidence is right here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So we've got that. How can, How can you prove I... CJ? Game? Game? Mr. Beans is always advertising his delicious wares. It's innocent. Newspaper edition. Avocado Heights distance and the time. Look at that CJ great was drawing pen. Avocado Heights at 3:55 p.m. on Thursday, two minutes before the dean died. There's no way CJ could have killed him. Yeah. CJ, you're innocent. What a relief. But you really shouldn't be going around town terrorizing children. You're going to end up in jail again. That wouldn't be so bad. They have the best beds in town. Do they? Okay, so there's still something I'm missing here. Wait, did I? Hmm? Familiar notes? Those scribbles look familiar. I found your map of Arthurton in the library. Keep it! It's a great map! Very rare! Ripped it straight out of the town charter, first edition! CJ! Come to think of it, only edition. What about all your notes? Don't you need them? Nope. Got it all backed up in the cloud. What cloud? Did I say cloud? 
I meant head. So what do all those notes mean? UFO swarm. Absolutely UFO swarm. You wrote about seeing UFOs in the forest. Yes! You're starting to see differently. I don't know about that. I'm just asking questions. There are patterns everywhere. Keep searching. Every part of my being is telling me that my mom is being framed, but I don't understand why. There are only three reasons a man is murdered. He didn't mind his own business. He couldn't keep his mouth shut. Or he wouldn't keep his hands to himself. Hmm. Have you ever heard of a place called Widow's Drop? I think my mom met the dean there. Widow's Drop? No, but it sounds suspicious. It does. Well, anything sounds suspicious if you say it like that. Be careful, Jenny. They'll do anything to keep their secrets. Once you start to see things, there's no going back. Do you ever wonder why the lake glows at night? Or why the power keeps going out all over town? Yes, I do. All the time. There's a lot more to this town if you look below the surface. Do you mean that literally or figuratively? Yes. The truth yes. is hiding right under our feet if we only stop to look. <sighs> I'm more confused than when we started. Well, I really have to get to my house. This case won't solve itself. I can drop you off at the bridge. No need. I'm staying here. Some of these rocks have moved. Never trust a crab with a man's jaw. <laughs> See you later, buddy. Be careful, Jenny. They are everywhere. Always watching. Always. Don't worry about me, CJ. They'll never see me coming. I sneak in silence. I creep in the shadows. My footsteps are whispers. CJ's so good. I've got this. Don't worry. Young lady, she said a curse. I'm gonna tell her mom as soon as she's out of prison. Battle <laughs> buff out. Jenny headed east towards the almost done bridge. I can dock there and make my way through the forgotten forest without anyone seeing me. Sneaky. We are going to be sneaky. Wait, is there a sticker over here? I know I did just get two very good stickers, but there better be real UFOs in this game or else I'd be really upset. I need there to be aliens because there's already shadow men. There's already men in black, but I would like an alien, please. Just, just show me one UFO. Just a little, as a treat. UFO. I think I, I deserve it. I deserve one UFO. One UFO. You gotta go around the bear claw. Good, now I can go home. Finally! Can't believe it's just because I was like, I will leave these fish alone because that is their natural habitat and I do not want to be a jerk. But whatever game, that's your prerogative to make me use my motor around large fish. Leave these people. I want to say. If there aren't aliens, then like, what was the point of all of this? <laughs> That's the way to my house. Let's get out of here. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, it's very tiny. I hope I do not get caught the by night was any still police. And quiet on the far side of the lake. The big bridge. Oh, I don't like the shape of that bridge. No one ever comes down here. Not since they stopped repairing the bridge. Mm. And yet it was hard to shake the feeling of being watched. 
This is CJ's fault. He really believes all that stuff. Once you start to see things, there's no going back. I wonder what he meant by that. Wait, can I pull up the compass whenever I feel like it? Map. Oh, I'm back to adventure. Well, I got a new sticker that I want to put on anyways. I absolutely have to use this. Perfect. Okay. All right. Hello, birds. the birds are. Oh, new sticker. Bird. Bird sticker. Forgotten forest trail. Voted most likely place to be eaten by bears. Arthurton Gazette. What if we encounter a bear? I don't like that. Mm -mm. Perfect. Just as I'm about to enter the spooky woods. The good folks at Arthurton Power and Light were not easing Jenny's fear of the dark. Of course, this was the very reason curfew had been put in place. That's true. Oh, what if I meet Moth? I don't know what state Arthurton is supposed to take place in. It feels... For some reason my brain assumes, like, the Midwest, but I have no reason to think that. How come I can see leaves through here? Oh no! Poor bear. Was he getting into stuff? Jenny's imagination ran wild. In the darkness, every sound was a threat. Every shadow a monster. It was getting too- yeah. Man. She was- but she was nearly home. Just a little further. This is a real spooky woods. Hello? <laughs> Yellow trying to get into houses and stuff. Oh, I can't return. I cannot come back from whence I came. Oh wait, no, go back from whence I came. Words. Words. It looked like Jenny had reached a dead end. She had no choice but to return to Susie's house for a comforting mug of hot chocolate. I'd rather plummet to my death. Uh, great news about that. Are you gonna jump it? It was a terrifying drop to the rocks below. Surely she wasn't contemplating jumping across. Mom always says a great detective takes calculated risks. So let's do the math. We are calculating. 
Game Jenny is taking risks. The bridge is too weak for a running jump. Taking into account the strong tailwind and factoring in my athletic prowess, or lack thereof, I could make that jump two out of three times. Not bad odds. Terrible odds. <laughs> it is terrible odds. Well, here goes nothing. Uh-oh. Jenny. Did I just kill Jenny LeClue? Oh, thank God. Okay. Okay. Maybe the odds weren't so good. And Jenny. now she was dangling from a splintered plank one slip away from certain death. It's just like climbing a tree. Just don't look down. Don't look down. Thank goodness for these nice vines. That's true. She's really good at climbing things. Oh my god, Jenny becomes Golem. What would Jenny's ring be? I guess it's just her adventurous spirit. Where do I feel like there's a sticker over there? It's a scrap. Oh wait, jump? Jump! Well, where am I supposed to go from here? Oh wait, was I supposed to go... I think I was supposed to go over that other ledge. My bad. It's fine, I still got sticker. No wait, I got scrap. But that's fine, it's, it's still something. Let me, can I go? Thank you. This does seem like a very high bridge. Oh yeah, you guys are from America. Have you guys been to, um... What's that thing called? Was this the end for our tiny hero? As no, her spindly fine. muscles began to give be way, okay. an image flashed before Jenny's eyes. Her mother, dangling from a ledge, unable to pull herself to safety. How could she possibly save her family when she couldn't even save herself? I can't give up now. Mom needs me. Yeah. You got this, kiddo. Yeah. Jenny had barely survived. Was she really prepared for the dangers that lay ahead? Have you guys it's been to the Grand Canyon? Back now. Is it scary? I, I want to go to the Grand Canyon someday. It might have been her recent brush with death, but Jenny's heart was pounding in her chest. That's not my heart. That's... CJ's compass! Ooh! The needle is shaking aliens, like crazy! Aliens, 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 aliens. Says there's... I'll come back. 
I just want to make sure that there's not like, you know, something interesting in here. I want to miss a sticker if it's like just right there. Why not? Or is this to go up? I think this is to go up. And I don't really... I have to find the aliens. That's more important. Green cane is not too bad. It's... yeah. Like that's the thing is like I've seen pictures and it just sounds like a lot. <laughs> Inspect glowing. I'm gonna inspect this first. Unless. No. Aha. What's this? Another postcard piece. Curious. Where to get down here? Hmm. Is this what the compass was pointing to? Jenny paused for a moment and listened. It was quiet but distinct. A constant pulse. Mechanical. Unnatural. Man-made? But other than the sound it emitted, this rock was like any other in the forest. Hmm. Was that all? that I'm supposed to find in here? Or is there more? No, I think that's it. Well, we have found one potentially supernatural thing. We made it. All right, we're safe this time for now, but next time we must take another calculated risk. Who knows what will happen? Do people fall into the the Grand Canyon? Is that really a thing? These days? Oop. Here? Yes. There's something under there. <gasps> We're destroying the leaf piles. We are once again destroying leaves. Jenny had spent her whole childhood exploring the woods behind her house. But I've never seen this before. Then she remembered CJ's words. People don't see things they aren't looking for. Mm-hmm. She knocked on the rusty metal. Hollow. It's a trap door. No, give me a sticker first. Oh. Sorry, the sticker rolls. The sticker's spooky. Okay. Am I missing anything else around here? Just want to make sure before. What is this? It's rusted up pretty badly. I can't move it. But maybe I can if I do this. What a strange device. Oh! The wires are connected to the door. We are about to learn some things. Maybe. Or we're gonna get killed. A stale metallic odor filled the air as Jenny peered into the opening. 
sure is dark down there. Too dark. But I can't just leave this unexplored. I have to see where it leads. What if you like disappear and, and your mom so just straight Jane goes to blindly into the unknown prison? Oh, it is spooky down here. Hello? short life, Jenny the Clue had never found herself in such a peculiar place. The town that once seemed a small lifeless pond was suddenly an ocean of mysterious possibilities. Equal parts terrifying and intriguing, it was... Incredible! Yes, an incredible mystery in her very own backyard. The case of the mysterious laboratory. Examine the machine. Jenny wiped away a thick Ooh. layer of dust. <coughs> Jeez, how long has this been here? Clearly the equipment had laid dormant for a long time, and you- so futuristic. Straight out of those comics Keith is always reading. Starship cadets and the race for space. The race for space. It feels... Alien. Ooh. Now I'm starting to sound like CJ. There must be a logical explanation for all this. But its purpose would remain a mystery. Jenny dared not touch its intricate interface. I'll just press all the buttons and see what happens. Oh dear. Turn dial. I'm controlling the blue one right now, I think. Change the frequency. turned the dials, she heard something hidden in the static. A voice? What is he saying? It's a pattern. It keeps repeating. Animals and numbers. Animals and numbers. 
People in the future sure talk weird. Was it a cry for help? A shopping list? Someone with extremely limited vocabulary? Whatever it is, it must be important. And so she transcribed it in her journal. Smart, smart. Looks fancy and broken. Uh-oh. Ooh. There's something stuck to the bottom of the ladder. It was just a blank piece of paper. Or is it? Jenny traced her finger over the page. She felt the clear indentations left by Ooh. a pen. I know exactly what to do. It worked. One, two, three, four. It was a code of some kind. The world's least secure code. Yeah. <laughs> Please enter authorization code to begin. One, two, three, four. Code accepted. System authorized and armed for activation. Armed. Sphere hermetically sealed. Oh. What are we going to do with in our hermetically <laughs> What are we Hold on a second. Ex hold on. Hold hold on. Just maybe no no no. Uh Radioactive safety margins cleared. Running at 54% efficiency. It says it's working, but what's it doing? Remember, a healthy employee is an effective employee. Please leave the station for your mandatory 15 minute smoking break. Decompressing spherical chamber. I get to go back up? I get to go back up? What is it doing? I should get out of here before my skin melts off. That's a good plan. Let's let's leave. Goodbye, friend computer. You were fun. What is happening? What is going on? <laughs> First we see stuff, you know, in the water. And now there's this. Oh, the rocks? Boulders must have weighed a ton each, yet they floated in the air like balloons. <gasps> CJ said he saw a swarm of UFOs circling the Forgotten Forest. Was Jenny beginning to make sense of CJ's wild ramblings? <laughs> I'm gonna need a bucket of coffee to unpack all this. Don't don't drink that much coffee, please, young lady. You're a growing girl, and caffeine's gonna make you short. Yeah. Mandatory 15 minute oh God. smoking break. Why is it a smoking break? No squares allowed. Our old fort. It didn't look like much, but this tree house had once Haunted been Jenny and Keith's favorite hiding spot. I could never climb up there on my own. Keith always had to help me. They schemed and planned and swore never to let anything come between them. Hmm. You messed Just up there. Just thinking about him hurt. Oh, I probably can't get up there without Keith because he's. What was that? No one. Steven! Steven! <laughs> Steven! What? Did you hear that? I'm telling you, man. Not this again. Something's out here. Something big. I mean, he's kind of right. Real big. <laughs> There's nothing there. It could be a bear. But I'm getting some super spooky vibes, man. For the last time, Kevin, the radio's off for emergencies only. Look at 
Look at this wimp. That was lucky. I need to be more careful. The house was swarming with police, but she knew this place like the back of her hand. If anyone could find a way in, it was Jenny LeClue. Yeah. It's tempting. But Jenny couldn't risk being seen by the police. Mm. There's probably a sneakier way in. There's got to be. This you can't just use the door. With cops. What could the police have found inside her house? Yeah, what did they find? And if they found what they're looking for, why are they still here? Yeah. Great questions. I carved that jack-o'-lantern. How normal life had seemed just days ago. For a moment, she missed that life. Okay, go off. There'll be plenty of time to carve pumpkins once I've saved my mom. It's true. Ooh, hoo, hoo. hello. Out of the police's line of sight, the basement was her best entry point into the house. Except that window is locked, and all my lock picking gear is inside. Hmm. What's happening? Over here. Jenny could try to climb the tree. But I already see an easier way in. It's true, I do. I just want to investigate everything. Dang, the front door's covered too. My room. And inside. My detective gear. The window looked a promising point of entry. I could climb the tree up onto the roof. But as Jenny knew, all the windows on the second floor were bolted down. Dad Mark. did it after a raccoon got in and trashed the place. God. <laughs> That's mom's room. Raccoons are menaces. Her window is bolted down just like the others. Now I think about it, that's a real fire hazard. It is. My house growing up was really old, so all of our windows were painted shut. Uh, the window was ajar. The frame damaged. And there was only one window in the house that like actually opened. Somebody broke into my house. That's my job. That's who, my job. The police had used the front door. Whoever it was, that's my way in. Maybe it's CJ. <laughs> to get to the basement window, Jenny would have to creep carefully past the police officer. We can do this. One false move and the game would be up. fast or risk being jailed like her mother meow 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 here goes nothing uh, <laughs> steven please tell me you're there oh my god somebody. I, I think you should know and i say this with 100 percent certainty that there's a spit it out already there's a mountain lion out here very likely they're indigenous to this area what? Just don't let it eat you. Don't need any more creep work. Oh God! I think I'll just uh, head inside for a minute to uh, to, to check on something. Phew. Mark, that was close. Very smart. Didn't do that on purpose, but I'll take it. Someone definitely forced this open. But who? Would Jenny enter the dark basement? We gotta go. Who could have done this? It was an odd feeling, breaking into her own house. But as she squeezed through the basement window, Jenny felt a rush of excitement. I could get used to this, she thought. Just a weird tasting soda. I mean, obviously, I have to drink all of it because I'm not one to waste, but strange. Jenny was in undetected. Home sweet home. Ow. What the heck? Who left this here? Jenny's father had never carried a briefcase, and her mother couldn't <gasps> afford one. The guy from the beginning. Let's see who this belongs to.
Oh, I don't, I don't know. Wait. You don't think. You don't think. Okay, never mind. Hmm. Oh wait, there's fingerprints on the ones that I'm supposed to use. And the weasel. It carries around a fancy briefcase with a children's book inside. Oh, uh, wasn't this underneath Dean Strawberry? It was one of the things that was the hawk one of the books the that was near him. Hang on a second. Jenny recognized the book. She'd seen a copy of it next to the Dean's lifeless body. In the library. There must be something significant about it. Hmm. The whole page is gone. Let's see. The rabbits and the bear. There once lived a family of rabbits. Their home was a three-story tall carrot cake near a river. Walking past, a bear smelled a delicious frosting and began eating the cake. What is this madness? She will purge us of house and home, cried the smallest rabbit. Soon the house had lost nearly all its icing. Eventually, the only thing left was the furniture. Satiated, the bear left and the terror passed. The rabbits had survived. They were now free to run about and gather materials to build a new house. Hopefully a bit less tasty this time. Oh, okay. Let's see, the hawk and the weasel. High above the forest, a hawk spotted a weasel and attacked. Injured, the weasel lay low in the grass where it could listen for its pursuer and lick its rancid wounds. But the hawk was relentless. Fear, fear soon turned into despair. How will I survive? cried the weasel. Suddenly, the screeching of the hawk was silenced by a thunderous blow. An enormous black crow had carried the hawk away. Relieved, the weasel slinked away, laughing at its good fortune. Uh, the wolf and the sheep. A wolf who had caught its feet in a hunter's trap pleaded with a passing sheep. Please free me before my wounds become infected and death comes to take me. Why should I help you when you would as soon as eat me? demanded the sheep. Come now, let us not relive past transgressions, said the wolf. Free me now and I shall be your servant forever. And so the sheep released the wolf, and the wolf ate the sheep. There's a lot in here. Uh, the goose and the golden egg. There once was a woman who discovered a magical goose that laid golden eggs. The woman collected the eggs for herself. Shouldn't be a woman? and sold them, becoming very rich. But she soon grew impatient, since the goose could only lay a single golden egg each day. So the woman cut open the goose, intending to take all the eggs at once. But in the end, she found no egg inside, and the goose was dead. Okay. <laughs> the boy and the whale. One day, a terrible storm rolled through the valley, flooding the town, and- oop. What do you mean you're having issues? Come on. Hey, give me back, give me back my overlay. Thank you. <laughs> uh, let's see. One day, a terrible storm rolled through the valley, flooding the town and forming a lake. One boy survived by floating upon his bed. Exhausted and starving, he prayed, someone please save me and I will forever be in your debt. Suddenly, a whale came diving down to the maze of clouds. She disappeared below the water and then suddenly surfaced, lifting the boy onto her back. The whale said, I'm in desperate need of a navigator. Can you help me find my way home? The boy agreed, and so she fed him fish, and off they flew into the sky to find a new home together. Hmm. I can't change the page anymore. Oh, I, I can zoom. We got Bunny. 
This feels familiar. Like I've seen it before. Have, have I? Wait, no. I've heard it before. On the radio in the underground lab. Oh. Oh. Could there be a connection between the cryptic radio message and this book? Let's find out. So. We want rabbit. Oh. Rabbit 49. Let's see. Three, three, four, three, five, three, six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six. All right. Bear. Oh wait, no. Bear. Bear seventy-eight. Bears in this one? Yeah. 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 Um. Eight, nine, sixty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, seventy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Whale. Well, I guess I can get the other bear while I'm here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, and one more rabbit. There's one more rabbit here. Okay. Weasel 23. Okay. 30. Five, thirty-four, thirty-three, thirty-two, thirty-one. Uh, is over here, and then whale thirty-six. Soon they will, they will all, all listen. Relive their rancid past. The message read like a threat. But uh, from who? Could it be a message from the Dean's killer? Uh oh. Let me get this straight. Someone's broadcasting a sinister message in code, mm -hmm. which is being picked up on a radio in an abandoned laboratory hidden in the forest. Mm -hmm. And the secret to decode this message is written in a children's book, mm -hmm. which was locked inside a stranger's briefcase in my basement. Yes. All of this was true. That doesn't make it any less crazy sounding. Also true. But not all mysteries could be solved in an instant. Sometimes questions had to percolate, like a good cup of coffee. Only then would the answers become clear. I guess I'll let it brew for a bit. But right now, I need to get to my room and find my detective gear. Very true. Just looking for more beer. <laughs> she did run. Okay. Make yourselves at home, why don't you? Forget about it. There's more in the back of the fridge. They better not eat my cookies. Oh, my cookies. Jackpot. <laughs> they got cookies too. No. Hey, have we searched down here yet? You lose one game of cards and suddenly you want to search the house. Can't handle the pressure, eh? Mm. Those, sir, are fighting words. You want to put your money where your mouth is? Arthurton's finest, everyone. There was no way Jenny could reach her bedroom without being caught by the police. Which means I can't get my detective gear. Great. But this was a basement. A veritable treasure trove of old possessions. That's sure, true. something around here would prove useful. Maybe. But I can't see a thing. Let's shed some light on the situation. Of course, the fuse is missing for the lights. Ooh. Hmm? Hmm? Ah. Yeah. 
actually. Jenny wasn't prone to sentimentality, but seeing her father's desk, the disorganized what did he study? Of books, photos, and the faint smell of ammonia. More reminders that her dad was here not so long ago. Miss you, Dad. Oh, I can't move the pen. What are these? Oh. This was years ago. I look like a kid. You one of the rare times that dad wasn't making a goofy face. He used to say, serious people make serious mistakes. Hmm. He's right. I might, uh, need this later. Yeah. Quantum tunneling and adaptive spectral optics. Quantum tunneling and adaptive spectral optics. Sounds like a real page turner. Dad was such a nerd. Rude. Let's see. Results of restorative transductive coupling experiment. experiment phase 7. Possible changes after initial phase cycling and post-dynamic quantum tunneling has transpired. Observed changes in higher dimensional planes has led to a regret regression in phase modulation of radio frequency spectra. Bandpass filtering has produced no differentiated results and advanced holography has not shown any positive change either. Further studies required to identify narrow beam secure spectrums from which to transmit future communications. I see. I mean, I don't see, but... Mending the molecular bonds of marriage. Huh? Mom and Dad both worked an awful lot. Jenny rarely saw the two of them together. A scientific journey to rediscovering love and chemistry. This one test tube looks recently used. The others are all covered in dust. A small puddle of liquid had pooled on the desk. Looks fresh. Still sticky. What is it? A field guide to fascinating flora. Oh, by Dean Strasberry. Look. Written by Weiss, Felding, and... Strasberry? Did the Dean write this book? Maybe. Toxic plants of Arthurton and their natural remedies. Is this a card that I got him? Are you gonna let me open it? Zoom? Today I love you one molecule more than mom. Heart and Jenny. <laughs> P.S. You promised to take me for donuts this weekend. Don't forget! N2166. Hmm. What else could I be missing here? Nothing there. Can I open? Oh, I can't. Oh! Give me the shoe shine. Or not. Lab explosion in the Brock's town. Accident. Mom must have kept it. Uh, let's see. A tragedy f befell Gumboldt University this morning when an experiment in the chemistry labs went wrong. An accident caused a destructive explosion, killing one scientist and injuring several others. The area was immediately cordoned off and no one allowed due to the potential deadly chemicals involved. Not even prosecutors? Not prosecutors. Crime scene investigators. Let's see. While the investigation is still ongoing, police have identified Henry Leclue as the scientist killed in the explosion. He is survived by wife Julie and daughter Jenny. Dean Strasberry. Head of the school and close friend of the Leclus gave a statement on campus this afternoon. What a tragic and unpreventable accident. Henry was working with dangerous chemicals and it looks like he made a grave error. He was under a lot of stress. People make mistakes. We've lost a great friend and neighbor today. Article continues on page 8 with reactions from town people. I don't want to read about town people. Only a little sus. Missing fish found. There's a little number right here. 
90913. The Dean called the lab explosion an accident, but everyone in town seemed to blame Dad. That's not nice. Blaming a dead man, huh? I can't flip it, can I? No, I can't. Complete. Inspections report. I've never seen this before. Uh, on May 14th, an anonymous source filed a complaint with the university regarding the lack of proper ventilation in labs. The equipment we have is old and frankly dangerous. It's only a matter of time before someone gets hurt. Process. Inspections of facilities reveal dangerous and unsafe work environment. Despite several violation notices and follow-up instructions, the school consistently failed to address non-compliant safety standards. Conclusion. Non accurate, don't let anyone work in that lab. It's a death trap. Recommend immediate closure of the facilities until new equipment and upgrades can be made. Hello, hold on, hold on. The Dean signed the report. Someone had circled the signature in red pen. This is only like. This is only like. Seven days before my dad died. October 5th. That was one week before. Her father's accident. This contradicts the newspaper article which stated my dad made a mistake. Everyone in town blamed him for the accident. But they were all wrong. The lab was unsafe. He shouldn't have been working there. And worst of all... Dean Strausberry knew. But he still let my dad work there. Any rational mind could see it. Strong evidence linking her mom to the Dean's death. This doesn't prove anything mm. but it was a clear motive for murder revenge my mom wouldn't do that but who else would see it that way there must be an explanation i just don't know what it is yet maybe she has this so that she can you know sue the college and get lots of money we're gonna take that evidence i can't let this fall into the wrong hands was jenny sure this was the right thing to do it broke every rule in the book why would she need to hide evidence if her mom was truly innocent? Mom isn't here to defend herself. It isn't fair. But however she tried to justify it, Jenny knew this wasn't the choice of the great detective. I need to buy myself some time. I can't afford anyone jumping to conclusions before I've had a chance to investigate. Yeah, I'm breaking the law. They already had that up up there. Why do you have two? Oh, it's volume two. Aha, okay. The missing fuse. I assume I can't get whatever whatever is up there until and then there was I can light. see things. Jenny would need to work quickly to remain undetected. Who knows when they'll come back? Now, where's the most likely place to find a makeshift detective kit? Well, I want whatever is up. Oh, I can't get whatever. The week after Jenny's father died, her mom boxed up his things and tucked them away in the basement. Jenny had argued with her. It was like she was trying to erase him. But seeing them now, being reminded of him, Jenny understood. I don't think mom would have put her CSI equipment in any of these boxes. <laughs> Give me sticker. A shaft of light peeked through the boxes. There's more stuff back there. I just need a way through. Hmm? Oh, I can't go through yet. Can't run. Already did that. Is there more to see now that there's light? No, it's still dark here. How do I get up there? Oh, that's right. Yeah. 
Yay. Oh wait. The box is how I get up there. Been correct. Dozens of boxes lined the back wall of the basement. There's probably something useful here, but it'll take forever to search through them all. Well, I mean, the one right there says CSI supplies. CSI supplies. That must be mom's old gear. Yeah. Give me like one second. I gotta get this thing. you I feel like this group of boxes why does that say accelerant hold on uh, I feel like that's maybe a little unsafe sure give me flashlight it's not as good as mine but at least it works. More or less. <sighs> uh, can I move now? Oh. Give me my sticker. My jam sticker. Yes. Practical homicide investigation. My key to the city. An old set of lockpicks. You gotta have it. Forensics for dummies. Tucked away at the bottom of the box, something colorful caught Jenny's eye. She pulled it carefully from the container and unfolded it. This must be Mom's old jacket. It does it look cute. The formaldehyde and fingerprint powder. From her CSI days. And so, she tried it on. I bet she feels very cool. <laughs> Cute. Fits like a glove. A giant oversized glove. Mm, and it smells like mom. Her mother had never felt so close, and yet so far away. I won't let them take you away from me too. Jenny's <laughs> search was complete. It's not the world's best detective kit, but it'll do. For the first time in her life, she felt like a real detective. Aww. She had a serious crime to solve. And a seriously sharp outfit to match. <gasps> Somebody else is here. Mr. X. Cop. What was he doing in my house? I should follow him. Yes. She's correct. No, you think? You think it's gonna be her dad? Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Was Jenny ready to follow the mysterious man in black? Yes. Let's get him. We're gonna get this man. He's like two faced now. Man in black. Who was he? Where was he going? There was only one way to find out. To get him. <laughs> Why did that sound like that? Where are you <laughs> headed, creepy man in black? Jenny couldn't simply chase the mysterious figure. He's bound to notice me if I follow too closely. I need to get out of his line of sight. Up there. That's my way up. If only Keith was here to pull a ladder down. I'll just have to get it down the old-fashioned way. That by... How? How? Uh, how? I don't know what that 
that means. And there's no prompt. Oh. We throw rocks at it. <laughs> that makes sense. Thank you. Good sticker. Very, very much enjoyed the sticker. I think it's a good look for her that's not, you know, PJs. <laughs> He goes down into the hole. There he is. How is he going to get across? The bridge should slow him down a bit. Huh? How did he do that? He looked away. That's what happens. Framing my family. The man so far away. had taken the higher path towards the Almasdan Bridge. That's a dead end. Why is he going up there? There's nowhere to hide on the bridge. I'll go underneath and spy on him from there. I mean, yeah, it was a it was a dangerous jump. It just would have been cooler, you know. Thank you, Crows, for not giving away my position. Hmm? What was that? Oh. Sticky keys. Sticky keys, no. I do not like you, sticky keys. No. Too much running. Keys, I swear to God, I'm gonna disable you right now. I'm not gonna deal with you. Not like this. Ugh. Oh yeah. While I have to wait for this stupid thing to open. Uh. So I mentioned earlier this month that I've had issues with my sink and it being very messed up and like not. And so I had to put in like another thing of like, you know, liquid plumber the other day. And it was backed up so much the liquid plumber was like up out of the sticky keys. Goodbye forever. Okay. Uh but so like the the liquid plumber was still like a little bit in the sink when I poured it. Uh but as it went down, I noticed something was like right underneath the uh the drain grate. And so I went and I got my tweezers and I pulled it out. It was a straw? But I don't use straws. And when I do like get straws from like, you know, takeout or whatever, that garbage doesn't go anywhere near my sink. 
And then I looked again because I was like, what if there's something else? There was a second straw and it was absolutely not a straw that I've ever seen before. Like it was weird. It, it didn't even seem like a fast food straw. Yeah, like a plastic straw. There were two of them and they were full of, you know, sink gunk. But I don't know how that happened. And <sighs> now I'm like, who's putting straws down the drain in my complex? They should stop. <laughs> Please. I would like to be able to do my dishes, thanks. We're gonna follow the man in black. Yeah, very, very frustrating. Jenny couldn't just walk onto the bridge and blow her cover. No, she'd keep her distance and see what the man in black would reveal when he didn't know he was being watched. Ooh. Gonna drink more of this nasty soda. The man in black neared the edge of the unfinished bridge. His methodical movements unnerved Jenny. I need so to get a weird. better look at him. I'll climb the outside of the bridge and snoop on him from there. That seems... The plan was daring, but so reckless. dangerous. <laughs> I have no choice. He's my only lead. Is he? And so, undaunted by the dangers that lay ahead, Jenny LeClue, wearing her mother's jacket, advanced towards the bridge. Yesterday a child, today a courageous adventurer. And still a child. Let's get it, Jenny. Where's my... oh, there's my boat. Boat is still here, which is good. Yeah, why are these bridges huge? Easy does it. I don't want him to hear me coming. I think he's gonna hear you coming. Boats are loud. Like, even rowboats are loud because, you know, they splish splash. You got those oars making all that noise. There's no such thing as a quiet ship. Unless it's like, big, big. Like a cruise ship. Cruise ships are so scary. They're so large. Is there any stickers over here for a Jenny? Any stickers? No. No stickers for Jenny. I wish that the cruise ship industry wasn't so... bad. Because I'm interested in them, but... Uh, did you know that you can get, like... long-term... not even, like, seasickness, but, like... bad... no land... What, what am I trying to say? You know? Jenny glanced down for the first time. Okay, not that way. And immediately wished she hadn't. She clung tightly to the stone wall. The ledge beneath her feet was narrow, barely wide enough to stand on. One false move and... Focus, Jenny. <gasps> Perfect pitch! The hallmark of a serial killer. Oh my god. Maybe I can get a closer look. There you are. Man in black. Extremely creepy. Identity unknown. Like long walks in the woods and children's literature. The brim of his hat concealed his face in shadow. The man in black remained an enigma. Could be three kids in a raincoat for all I know. He's just standing there. What's he waiting for? Yeah, what's he waiting for? Hmm? chatterbox yes it's all there clear as day who is he talking to come back, come back here no it wasn't there yes the whole house she must have it what was he looking for of course where 
Hold on. What's he doing now? So he's not there. He's not there. Where did he go? Shifts at four. Yes, it's all here. I have to see what's on that paper. Yes, the biggest cross. I know. Biggest cross? Biggest cross. He's destroying evidence. You jerk. Maybe I can get it with my. How does he not see my boat from there? I have to get down there before it's lost for good. She was only distracted for a moment, but a moment was enough. Damn, how does he do that? We're going. What was I saying? Oh yeah, there's- so you know how when you're at sea for a while, sometimes when you come back to land, like, it's hard to get your bearings, you don't have your, your land legs, you know? Uh, apparently you can have that- even if you've only been like on say a cruise for a little bit, you can have that happen and last for months. In a very, very rare case, it, there was a full year. Uh, that's terrifying to me, personally. Uh, I don't know where you go. The biggest cross, that's right. It's something about arches, gates. Biggest cross. Pay your respects. Uh oh. Don't forget to pay your respects. Jenny held a soggy paper yeah, you can have it for months. She hadn't recovered but it's, it's all not pieces, like common, it's kind of rare, message. but that's scary enough because I already get like, I don't know, dizzy spells, but that's because I'm dehydrated. <laughs> Let's see. Beyond the fallen angel, through the crumbling arches, past the wooden gates. The entrance is buried there. Look for the biggest cross. Don't forget to pay your respects. What could it mean? Their directions to a secret entrance. This is absolutely in a cemetery. But an entrance to what? Maybe there's more in the back. <gasps> Mom? Jenny's heart skipped several beats. She remembered the man in black's words. I'll take care of her tonight. <gasps> He's oh no. going to. Jenny couldn't bring herself to say the words. Mom's in terrible danger. Thankfully, her mother was safely locked away under the watchful eyes of the police. Mm. He'd never get past them. Uh. You don't have to. These instructions lead to a secret entrance. A way to get to the jail without being detected. But where? Absolutely the cemetery. Absolutely the cemetery. The entrance is buried there. Buried? The word bounced around her brain like a pinball. 
Where did people bury things? The graveyard! <sighs> We're going to a graveyard. Of course. The graveyard was in the same part of town as the jail. Angels, arches, crosses on graves. All features of the graveyard. I have to get there before he does. I have to save my mom. What do you This was all well and good, but even if she was right, even if she managed to reach her mother before the man in black, how am I going to break her out? It was at this moment a rather distressing thought popped into her head. As loath as she was to admit it, Jenny needed help. She reached into her jacket pocket and removed the walkie-talkie Susie had given her. Jenny's going to get help. Susie, are you there? Jenny? Thank goodness. Are you okay? What is that awful music? Oh. I'm just rehearsing my dance for... I regret asking. You said earlier you wanted to... Yes? You said you wanted to... Help? Of course. Anything for you, friend. Okay. Meet me at the graveyard right away. The graveyard? But it's nearly midnight. What if I get caught? It's urgent, Susie. But you took her boat. How's she supposed to sneak around? I don't know, Jenny. I don't think I can do it. We're gonna inspire. Don't you see, Susie? This is your chance to prove yourself. Do you want your whole life to be dictated by your parents? Well, no, but... There comes a time when every young woman has to chart her own course. But does it have to be right now? My mom's fate hangs in the balance, and I'm the only thing standing between her and death. Which side of history will you be on? Um, the good side? Great. <sighs> then meet me outside the graveyard as soon as possible. Okay, I'll be there, Jenny. What should I wear? I'm thinking practical, but colorful. I don't care. Just bring your silent explosives. What? What do you need explosives for? I'm gonna break my mom out of jail. Hmm. Are you sure that's wise, Jenny? No, 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 no. I am an artist. Is he getting turned and writing? I will not be dictated to by some pen pusher in an ivory tower. Sir. It's too long, too violent, too dark. Uh. These are my characters. So why does it feel like they're rebelling against me? All this fighting, all this drama. And for what? Jenny and Susie should be best friends by now. Maybe I mean, it's time to wrap this one up. End on a happy note. Yes. Let's fix this nonsense no. once and for all. You have to show me the aliens. You're right, Rufus. First, I need another drink. Maybe you don't, actually. Who is this? Who are you? These are such cute little drawings. What happened? Oh, do I have to choose my own adventure here? Rich-ish. Aww. We are absolutely... Absolutely. I don't know, but if it does, that's wild. Oh wait, chapters? Happy ending. Super fun surprise, unburdened readers, exotic new location, such a good idea. Focus on friendship and keep fans happy. Graveyard, rescue mom, too dangerous. Reveal Arthurton's darkest secrets. Arthurton should be full of joy. Push Jenny to her limits, too stressful. I am going to that graveyard. <gasps> Good 
goodbye forever happy ending. It'll never happen. Looks like fate's decided for me. This one can't end like the others. They won't publish it. I must write something different. Something's the only chance I have of saving her. I'm sorry, Jenny. You'll see your mum soon. But for now, it's got to be the graveyard. What's wrong with that? It's absolutely what Jenny wants to do. Jenny's all about that life. Was the man in black the Dean's real killer? Without any evidence, Jenny couldn't be sure. A great detective never made assumptions. The most important thing was getting her mum to safety. And to do that, she'd need to beat the man in black at his own game. Ah. It's only a little spooky. Events had taken a dramatic turn. Jenny's head buzzed with questions. Will Susie's explosives work? What would someone- why would one, someone want to kill my mom? Who is the man in black? Can I find the jail before it's too late? The road ahead was fraught with danger. And Jenny would need all of her wits to survive. One thing's for sure. I'm gonna need to be very quiet. Susie! Hi, Jenny! I'm here! And I brought snacks! This is a covert mission. Could you draw any more attention to yourself? Sorry. I just wanted to get here as quickly as I could. Did you bring the explosives? Of course. Et voila. Now remember, explosives are incredibly dangerous. Yeah, thanks, Captain Obvious. Hopefully it'll be enough. Okay, I'm here. What's the big emergency, Susie? Oh no! What is she doing here? Kate, you came! You invited him? I thought it'd be a good opportunity for you to talk. Now is hardly the time! I can't bear the idea of two best friends never speaking again. It's too sad. What's wrong with you? I... should go. No, Keith, wait. There was so much she wanted to say. But she had ruined the Dean's funeral. Embarrassed she sure Keith had. In front of the whole town. Worse, she hadn't been there for him in his hour of need. Oh, she wanted true. to tell him all about the Dean's ring, the man in black, and the mysterious room buried in the forest. But none of it would bring his father back. Sometimes the right thing to say was also the hardest. Obviously you apologize. Are you kidding me? I... I... I'm... sorry. Poor Keith. Angry, grieving, conflicted. His whole world turned upside down. And the one person he most wanted to confide in, he couldn't. I really should go. Goodbye, Jenny. Oh. I mean, yeah, it was stressful for her, but like... And also, she's a kid. You can't be, like, angry at her for it. Like... Both of her parents gone, crappy grandpa- crappy granddad who was in charge of the police. Yeah. Well, that didn't go exactly as I planned. Are you okay, Jenny? We're gonna... What if we get a little... What the saucy? hell were you thinking? I just wanted to help. Well, you made it worse. Friends need each other. I was just trying to be a good friend. Less harsh? I'm so scared of what this is going to be, be anyways. a good friend? Stay out of my business. Now let's get back to work. Gurney wear. You got stickers? You guys got stickers on your phone? This goes a real long way. sticker. Now I can lock pick this lock. Ugh, 
Locked. I'll have to break in. Or we could just wait for an adult. And let the man in black get to my mom first. Are you trying to sabotage everything? I just don't see why we can't tell the police what we know and let them sort it out. Because, Susan, They're the in police are incompetent. I'm not putting my mom's life in their hands. Besides, for all we know, it could be an inside job. Now, keep a lookout while I open this lock. One, two, three. Yay. Hmm. Only a little spooky. Only a little Are you scared. coming, Susie? Into the graveyard? There's no time to waste. Oh, yeah, of course. I'm just, um, I think I need a minute. I'll let her off the hook. Why don't you wait here and keep a lookout? I'll go on ahead. I've got the radio if I need your help. That sounds like a great plan. Thanks. Radio me if you see anything suspicious. Especially if you see a man in black carrying a briefcase and a blue umbrella. Briefcase, <laughs> umbrella, got it. Lock the gate behind me so no one suspects anything. Keep out of sight. Here, don't forget the explosives. Thank you. Jenny had broken in undetected. Now she had to find the secret passage that led to the jail. I just need to follow the clues from the photograph. I'm coming for you, Mom. It, well, are you gonna let me see the graveyard? Ah, there we go. So, I love that. For angels? A guardian of the graveyard cast her stony gaze over the burial ground, watching over the departed, protecting their peaceful slumber. Why must everything in a graveyard be so well, creepy? Of course, this guardian had wings. Beyond the fallen angel! There are lots of angels here. Which one is the fallen angel? A great question. Oh wait, I bet it's one that's like literally fallen down. Look at the Christmas. Oh. Strasbury Mausoleum. Amongst the fresh flowers was a note. Beloved father, educator, and botanist, your memory will forever blossom in our hearts. Don't worry, Mr. Strasbury. I won't rest until I found your real killer. We gotta find him. Oh hey. What is that? Something's pushing against the stone. It looks like it could collapse at any minute. Oh, hello. Four discs of solid granite with something carved into the face. It's all scrambled up. I'll just straighten them out. Yeah. Try as she might, the discs wouldn't move. Oh. Darn. Oh. Heck yeah. We got sword. You got swords on your phone? Actually, didn't Token Ranbu come out in English? Oh. Hey, Dad. I can't stay long. Mom's in trouble. And, well... Jenny tried to be brave, but the past few days had taken their toll on our hero. And finally, it all poured out. Everything's falling apart. I wanted a real mystery to solve, but... I didn't think it would be like this. Dean Strasbury's dead. 
Everyone in town thinks Mom killed him, and, and Keith won't talk to me. I don't know who to trust. And now someone is trying to kill Mom, too. I have to save her, but I'm not sure I can. Why did you have to go and die on us? It was a really crappy move. What? You just saw evidence that it wasn't his fault? I wish you were here. Looks like it might move. Hmm. Let me go stare. Ten o'clock, three o'clock, seven o'clock, nine o'clock, four, ten, three, seven, nine. Okay. I want you to be at four. Are you at four? No, you're at nine. Or wait, no, are you at four? Because you kind of tilted. Supposed to be a ten, which you are, so I don't have to deal with you. What else we got here? Four ten. Three seven nine. Okay. I can remember that, I think. That's scary. Here lie the earliest settlers of Arthurton. They kickstarted our great town's growth and prosperity. Hmm? The note had read, look for the biggest cross. But none of these graves have crosses. At camp, the plan never went according to itself. Your rest, Ida, please say hello. Hello. Jerome Brown. Only his nickname was Floppy. Hello? <laughs> Kendrick and Donna. Happy as hippos from life to the end. Disco buried far below the ground where all the deepest grooves are found. Benito McDonald. Art now and forever. Amen. Rocco. One great dog. Morgan M. Minsky. What goes up must come down. Edwin Kyung. Trapped in the pursuit from which there was no escape. Brandon Liu, right out of lives but will never but will forever impact ours. Game over. Matt Neto King Katinas. Weird. Kevin Clark. Hazel Quantock. Surely all of the wonders of the world. The horizon is the greatest. Michael V. Shaw Sr. Husband, father, friend, forever in our hearts. <gasps> Hello, sticker. No matter. Perhaps there were other secrets to find here. Vacancy, rent to own. Are there secrets? Secrets? Secrets. Anything else from you, weirdos? No? Okay. I've got more angels to move. Oh, 
but you're facing the wrong way. How am I gonna get up there? Well, this one's supposed to be seven. Oh wait, no, you're facing the right way. Correct. How am I gonna get up there? Are there any rocks to throw down here? Not currently. That's fine. You're supposed to be at nine. I feel like there must be one hidden up there where the thing is. Five stone swords adorned the strange entryway. Jenny tried to move one. Wow, they're all stuck tight. I can't move any of them by hand. Last one. Maybe there was a rock. soon because I guess it has been three hours. <laughs> Maybe there's a rock here that I just didn't notice. I got rocks? Hmm. Not really seeing any rocks. Let's go back a bit further. That was a leaf, okay. Biggest cross, tinted rocks. The one that I'm missing is supposed to be 10, right? Oh no, it's supposed to be 3. Oh yeah, I've been trying to go through like the challenges so I can unlock everything. It's... it's rough. <laughs> The challenges are fun, though. But I can't just, like, jump it. Yeah, some of them are kind of easy, like, uh... The one where if you touch anything it becomes poop, but then, like, if you pop the poop, then, uh, it heals you. Yeah. Well, then the thing is, I don't know what a lot of stuff does, so, like, I'll get something and I'm like, oh, cool. What do I do with this? Maybe if I move slow. Here lie the earliest set. They kickstarted our great town's growth and prosperity. We got that. I look there.
Hmm. I already looked at this angel. Nothing over here. Okay. Go up. Jenny knows what I'm trying to do. Oh, wrong button. Let's see. I sure am missing some things in between here. Let's see. something here? How can I miss something that I- oh wait. The other side. Oh. Never mind. I thought I was onto something, but I guess not. Susie, could you make me, you know, a ladder? I'm very short. This is where I'll end for today. We will be back playing Jenny on Monday at our usual time. Usually, at our usual time. Thank you all for coming and hanging out while I ate chips and drank bad soda <laughs> and played Jenny LeClue. I hope you all have a great remainder of your weekend. Please take care. See you later.